Kayo finds his pregnant wife sleeping. And hits the couch waking her up. Telling her to get up and that she was a useless woman. She woke up scared without saying anything. He started calling her lazy and lying on her back all day on the couch and doing nothing. She asked him not to treat her like that. What's all that for? He said for what? In the kitchen there are dishes to wash, upstairs laundry to fold, bathroom to wash, yard to sweep, room to clean. A lot of things to do inside the house and you're just useless like an invalid. She said why don't you help me? Does it cost to clean the house and help me? While he was laughing he said, I, man, doing a woman's job? Never. She said she was tired with pain in her legs. And she needed help. He told her to turn around and clean the house. Get off the couch and do something. Marsha gets up with great difficulty and thinks about how badly he treats her. Why are you doing this to her? She can't wait for the child to be born. To end it all. She was very sad with body aches and thought why did she get married? He appeared out of nowhere and said he had laundry to do. And that he wasn't going to be looking for something for her to do. That she had to wash and iron his clothes. And she replied that she was very tired with swollen legs, that she couldn't take it anymore. Kayo yelled at her telling her to get up before she gets hit in the face. She tried to get up but she was weak. He came back grabbed her hair and asked if she had a hearing problem. She started to throw the clothes on the floor and said that she already told him to wash his clothes. That he needed to stop now. He was going to leave and said that when he came back he wanted the laundry done and the house clean. If not, he would not answer for the axe. She said she couldn't take it anymore and that she and the baby didn't deserve this. She started to cry. She got up and went to her room to get a notebook. And she wrote something for him to read later. She took her clothes and packed her bags.
Times later he arrived and started calling for her. He saw that she was not at home. He started cursing her for being useless. I keep calling her. But nothing. He thought where is that woman? He said he's playing hide and seek? Where she was. Is that good for nothing missing? Suddenly he came down and sat on the couch. He found her letter. She was telling him that she was leaving, that she was tired of being humiliated. That she couldn't take the loneliness anymore and him mistreating her. She and her son deserved better. She was going to never come back. He very angry said he was going to find out where that woman was. He started calling her. Cursing motherfucker. Sending that damn cell phone answer. He thought how did she leave like that? She was safe home, food and everything. My god why did she leave? He had been really mean to her. 10 years of marriage and their son to be born. He mistreated her and it wasn't fair. God forgive. He asked where she was. I wanted her back. Anna come back to me. He found her and said why did she leave him? She said still ask me? Anna you had everything roof to live food and security. She said she didn't have the main thing the love affection understanding she never had at home. He knelt down and asked for forgiveness. Anna was everything to him. He loves her so much. Give it a chance again. She replied no. That she already gave other times and it didn't work. He asked her not to go. She's gone. He said what will become of him my god. 